Hello artists! For this week's art lesson, we will be creating a drawing based on the story Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. We'll read the story together and then we will learn how to draw our own three white mice and we'll discuss the color mixing that's shown in the book. We'll go over the primary colors and the secondary colors and learn how to mix them together. For this lesson, you need a white piece of paper, any size will do. You'll need a pencil for drawing, an eraser in case you make a mistake, and for coloring, simple crayons and markers are all that you need. Color pencils will also work. So let's grab all our supplies and get ready to make some mice. Let's begin by listening to the story Mouse Paint. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint, so they climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles look like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and he did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until... Look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into the red puddle. He splashed and he mixed and he danced until... Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got stick and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red, one part yellow one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. Yellow and blue to paint a green part and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. The end. To begin our own mouse paint drawings, let's turn our paper across horizontal. That way we have enough room to draw the three mice on our paper with space in between. Since we want to spread them out, that means we're not going to put our mice right next to each other. So I'm going to make three dots on my paper where I would like my three mice to be. Make sure you leave some room in between the dots. Starting on each dot, we're going to draw a circle for the head of our mice. Take your time and draw nice and large all the way around. Now that our head for the mice are done, we're going to go back and make the body. So we're going to start with a straight line down from each of the heads. 
I'm then gonna go and make a straight line across as if I was making the letter L. And to finish the body, I'll go right where I ended and curve back to the head. Remember a curved line is a line that bends. Next, I'm gonna make the front feet of our mice. So I'll make half circles, two of them, and little lines to give the impression of the toes. Since our mice are sitting, we only have to worry about drawing the two front feet. We wouldn't see the back. Mice have nice round big ears. So we'll go back and put two circles on top of each of our mice heads and a smaller one inside for the inner part of the ear. Inside of our circle head, we can start the eyes. We can keep with the circles, or if you'd like to make your eyes a little different, go right ahead. Just make sure you give eyes to each of the three mice. Now the nose of our mouse is gonna go down towards the bottom of the head. So I'm gonna draw a curved line and color it in with a black crayon or marker or my pencil will work just fine. And let's not forget that mice have whiskers, so let's draw whiskers on each face of our mice. Now the mice in our story were white, so we really don't have to worry about coloring much since we drew on white paper, but we can take a pink marker and we could color the inside pink part of the ears for our mice. And we could also use the pink to give each of our mice a tail. And to make the tail, we could just use a loop line. Remember, a loop line is a line that goes around and around like a roller coaster. And there you have your three white mice from Mouse Paints. Now let's get ready to have them jump in some puddles of color. Before we get to putting the paint puddles on our paper, if you'd like to take a black marker or crayon or pencil and trace your mice so that you could see them a little bit better before we begin, of course you could always do that step. If not, you could leave them drawn with the pencil. Now I'm gonna use markers, but you guys can use crayons and color pencils too. And you need to start with the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue are special. The primary colors cannot be mixed, but we could put them together to make other colors, just like we saw in the story. We're gonna use the primary colors to draw the puddles that our mice are gonna jump in before they mixed new colors. So let's start with the first mouse. The first mouse jumped in to the color red first. So we're gonna take our red marker and we're gonna color a little red spot underneath so it looks like a red puddle. After he jumped in the red puddle, he jumped in a yellow puddle. So we'll take our yellow and color a little yellow spot next to the red. The second mouse in the story, he jumped in a yellow puddle, so we can color a yellow spot, and then he jumped in a blue puddle. So let's take our blue and color a blue spot 
right next to it. And the third mouse in Mouse Paints, he jumped in a blue puddle so we can color a blue spot. And then he jumped into the red puddle. So we'll make a red puddle right next to the blue. Remember, it does not have to be markers. This can also be done with crayons, color pencils, or if you really want to get creative, you could also use some paint. Now let's talk about the colors they mixed when they jumped in those puddles. When the mice jumped in those puddles, they made purple, orange, and green. Orange, purple, and green are the secondary colors. The secondary colors are mixed by taking our red, yellow, and blue and combining them together in different ways. So when the first mouse jumped in his red and yellow paint and he danced around and mixed the colors all together, he created a new color. The color he created was orange. So we can take our orange marker and we can color orange by the feet of our first mouse. Because just like in the story, when he mixed the paint, he got it all over his feet and fur. So let's take our orange and color some orange on the fur of our first mouse. When the second mouse jumped in the blue and yellow puddle and danced around and stirred it up, he made the color green. So let's color some green on the fur and feet of the second mouse. When the third mouse jumped in the blue and red puddles, he created purple. So we can use purple to color the feet and fur of the third mouse. And there you have our three mice who jumped in the primary color puddles, danced around and mixed them up and got three brand new colors, orange, green, and purple. Now that we have our color mixing done, if you wanted to add some background designs, maybe some extra little polka dots or swirls or stripes or paint splats, you can go right ahead and do so. And there you have your finished mouse paint picture. I decided to just use some different colorful dots in the background as if the paint had splattered all over the place, but you could do a completely different design if you like. Take your time with your coloring Remember to use the primary and the secondary colors, and I cannot wait to see what they look like when they are done. Good luck, artists.